My biggest leadership challenge over the last 20 years was being part of a small team who merged the two largest older people's charities in the UK. Um, it was tough, but we were united by a very common sense of purpose and understanding that what we wanted to do would really improve the lives of older people, importantly, take out unnecessary costs and duplication. And that strength of focus and purpose saw us through some very difficult negotiations, difficult politics and difficult times. But by holding on to that purpose, we were able to achieve the goal that we'd set out and successfully merge what is now Age UK. I think the biggest leadership challenge that I faced when I started in a position of leadership, and I think it's the same today, is making sure that one gets the right people into the right jobs uh, and then supports them, helps them to succeed. And in the rare occasions when they don't uh, succeed, to take fairly prompt action to, to help them and to help the organisation move forward. My biggest leadership challenge has been taking a team of people and getting them aligned with the vision that we should have to take the business forward, getting them committed to the strategy, and then communicating it clearly to every single person in the business. Very much seeing um, a vision for helping to shape, um, gaining a voice um, for what has largely been an undervalued industrial sector. Tourism is about jobs, it's about growth, it's about the economy, it's about people, um, but largely um, it's not seen that way. And my biggest um, challenge has been about trying to put that on the agenda and getting it onto the agenda at all levels. There's no question that my biggest leadership challenge over the last 20 years was my first chief exec job when I became chief executive of the charity Action on Addiction. I knew the charity was in trouble, but I had no idea how bad the situation was. Effectively, we weren't a going concern. All the staff had left. I was left with three people. There was not enough money in the bank to pay salaries and rent for the first three months. And the two letters I had on my desk was from the Charity Commission wanting to investigate us and our major donor pulling away their funds. So there was no question that was a very challenging time. My biggest leadership challenge over the last 20 years is to curb my maverick extremes and manage upwards better. Um, don't frighten people quite so much and just knowing when to turn it on and when not to. I think the biggest challenge over the last 20 years was when I was fairly inexperienced heading up um, an organisation where we needed to influence doctors working for a completely different organisation, very powerful surgical doctors. Um, I'm a GP and the relationships between GPs and surgeons are interesting, but normally they would not expect a leader to come from general practice that they needed to follow. So how you influence people who work for someone else who you need to sell something to the wider audience um, I th I th was incredibly difficult and uh, has actually had a profound effect on what I've done subsequently. I think one of the biggest leadership challenges and it's faced by many religious leaders would be taking boards of directors and congregations who are essentially vested in something that is ancient and conservative and trying to engage them and persuade them to adopt a more modern and forward-thinking attitude. So there have been plenty of leadership challenges over the last, uh, over the last 20 years. Um, the one that I would choose, I think, is during 2009 when we were going through uh, the, the sort of market downturn um, and my organisation was going through a particular difficult time, we were running a redundancy programme, we closed the final salary pension scheme, I argued at the time um, that we should run a leadership programme. And the challenge really was to persuade the then leadership team and the board that, that, was, that it was an important investment. Um, and the real challenge for me was to get the buy-in to that and, then, and to make the arguments for why we needed to do that for the future. My biggest leadership challenge in the last 20 years has been realising and recognising that I have the right to change things and I have the right to change things in me and for me. My biggest challenge was actually leaving my own organisation. Uh, so after 20 years of running an event company, uh, to then decide to leave it because we were hit by the recession, 
was really challenging, but I've learned that more since being at Windsor Leadership and understanding what leadership means and what it's about.